guys it's Crash and welcome back to the Clash of Videos channel and today we are doing another tutorial it's been a week or so like one and a half week or something it's been a long time for a tutorial but we are back and today I'm going to show you guys how to make infinite lava slash obsidian farm in Minecraft and um, the mods you will need for these for, for this is my factory reloaded and thermal expansion and a little bit of normal minecraft which you already have normal minecraft and this is the machine this is the machine in pro form i mean see how much lava it just makes so much lava this see how much stone obsidian cobblestone you can just make so much and it's really overpowered but uh, i'm just going to make a basic one and oh my god the tank is already full <laughs> holy crap so yeah, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to just make a basic one because we don't really need to make a big one. This is just for pros who have a lot of resources. But maybe guys, maybe we are going to make this in uh, in our dark in our feed the beast series. But uh, I think just a basic one is enough. I mean, these lava fabricators are not really easy to make. You need to make it like this. I mean, it's not the easiest to make. So I just I think that I'm I'm going to make a normal one. But uh, let's get started. So, all the things you need are these. You need a magnetic dynamo, a lava bucket, well, four lava buckets, and a bucket, of course. Lava fabricators, flue ducts, crescent hammer, igneous extruder, item ducts, chests, water bucket, lava, well, sorry, levers, aqueous accumulators, and tanks. Also, you need open blocks or from expansion, doesn't care, you can use both tanks, both tanks are good. But uh, yeah, so these are all the machines you need to make. Uh, I think the only really hard ones, they are really that hard. Infar isn't really that hard to make, you just need Infar blend. And uh, it's pretty hard actually, you need Pharaohs, uh, that's one of the hardest uh, ores to find in from expansion. So the only hard things is the magnetic dynamo and the lava fabricator, they are the only hard Think the other things are pretty easy, like the igneous extruder isn't really that hard, or the aqueous accumulator. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, what you need to do first, place your magnetic dynamo, all right? Then, what you do, place your lava fabricator. But you see, hmm, why is it not connecting? Because you need a crescent and hammer. And to make this, I showed you guys actually in my first tutorial. But um, how you do this, you just right click on this and it will connect. What you then do, it needs to get powered up, that means the lava fabricator, it needs lava. What you do, you put the lava in here as much lava as you can. Now look, it's now full with lava, alright? Then what you do, you can turn it off if you really want to. You need to put a lever, do it on, and we'll turn it off. So it stops putting lava in, but you can just turn it on if you really want to. Then, what we need to do, I put the flu ducts away, what am I, idiot? So what you then need to do? Do this, you need to at least have three or two, it doesn't really care, I should just do three. Three flue ducts, and flu flue ducts are really that hard to make, just hard and fast, you need two obsidian and uh, one ladder ingot in an induction smelter. Okay, what you then need to do, you need to put the ex igneous extruder. Then it will charge up with lava, because the, this thingy here is blue, which means input, and this means output. Okay, what you then need to do, you need to put an item duct, but a chest. All right, then you click on this and it will make it out, but you see it's red and this is blue. So it will go in the chest and out the igneous extruder. All right, then you see, oh, whoops, I already make it. All right, but uh, it, it, you can you need to put water in this, but it's pretty boring putting lava, water each time in. You can just manually put lava in this too, but it's really boring doing it manually. Automatic is feel, feel better, M much better, sorry. <laughs> Much better. So what you need to do, you need to put your, oh, god damn it, you need to put your aqueous accumulator here. Is it still good? Okay, let's put this output. All right, and uh, also you need to put this uh, input. What you need to do, place your aqueous accumulator there. Then what you need to do, place the water, place some water near it. You know, you need to place it near it. Then the aqueous accumulator will charge in. But uh, is it? Put it in. Yes, it is. You see, now it's full with water, so it keeps making resources. And we'll go in here. So, what you can do, you can just choose obsidian, but don't do it yet, guys. 
because this thing will later on run out and then you don't have any more lava and uh, you will cry because you don't have any lava so what you now need to do now we need to make a way to keep lava so we can make it infinite so what we need to do we need to place glue decks like this and do this just like that then what you do you grab your tanks and you just place them and uh, put this one off you don't really need to but just put it off you know all right, so then you just put tanks like this. I don't know how but how wide you want it, but you can just put it like this. All right, let's move five by five. All right, five by five. All right, let's make it a uh, pretty high, just like that, just like the other one I did. So you do it like this. And bam, you have your automatic lava slash obsidian or cobblestone or what you want to call it farm. So this is the way how you make an infinite lava and obsidian farm or cobblestone or stone. And now you can just choose what you want. Like if you want cobblestone, look at the chat, 44. Or you can just choose obsidian. And um, guys, I'm going to wait here 10 minutes and let's see how much obsidian is in the chest. And I'm back guys and I just waited for like I don't know one minute or so. And let's see how much obsidian is in the chest. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh shit. Pfft. 20 obsidian guys. 20 obsidian in just one and a half minutes. I mean you see how OP this is? It, it's just great how good it is. Oh look, oh no, the magnetic dynamo is running out of lava. Whatever, let's just put it back. And it's back with lava. You see how great this is, and uh, if we go to this chest, this has a lot, seriously. One stack and a half. This is actually in 10 minutes, guys. If you make this in 10 minutes, I and mean, you make, if you just do this in 10 minutes, you will get this much obsidian. Actually, it's now doing stone. If it was obsidian, it would actually get like two stacks. And look how much lava if you do it on the pro way. It's really OP, guys. So, um, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you out, me. Because I know some people hate to mine obsidian. I, I too, is pretty boring to mine obsidian. Grabbing lava all the time, searching for lava all the time. But we can finally make infinite lava obsidian far and also the mods you will need for this is formal expansion my factory reloaded and if you want to also open blocks you don't really need to but if you want these things you need open blocks i will have every link to the mods in the description below guys so you can download the mods and do make it for yourself or you're playing like text like a mod pack like me and feed the beast you can also do it just to feed the beast but if it really helped out, be sure to subscribe for more Minecraft videos and also leave a like if it helped you out. And also a comment what you think of the video. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Goodbye.